Hello. What do I mean when I say intelligent? Well, in fact, I have learned to avoid saying that word, which belongs, in my opinion, to the much too vast category of the confusing and dangerous expressions. The first problem with the word intelligent is that it is, consciously or not, systematically matched and distorted with a value judgment. To say John is less tall or less hairy or less young than James is a mere factual statement. To say John is less intelligent than James is an insult and most often a non-demonstrable assertion. Even prominent scientists who study throughout their career with a growing marvel a specific type of living entities and end up wishing these to be called intelligent, perhaps succumb, I am afraid, to the gratifying charm of this adjective. Secondly, intelligence seems to me a much too vague concept to be usefully employed by science or simply by people who wish to reason in an accurate and objective manner. There are almost as many definitions of intelligence as there are thinking people on Earth. For instance, among infinite overgrades, at the most elementary level, we could call intelligence the instinctive attempt to apprehend every change in the ambient conditions in order to adapt to it and to survive. In that sense, all living beings are intelligent only minerals are not. At an intermediate level, we could call intelligence the possibly conscious operation of a brain, analyzing a more or less complex situation and synthesizing its conclusions into an action, what seems reserved to rather developed animals. At the highest level, we could call intelligence the ability of a mind to manipulate fully abstract concepts outside of any reference to the perceived world and of any material necessity, which seems to be the privilege of some specially talented humans. As for me, globally, roughly, tersely, I would call intelligent every being or union of beings able to progress towards achieving goals. Nevertheless, adaptability would be, from my point of view, a much more neutral and appropriate term than intelligence to qualify the remarkable memory phenomena observed on plants, which this Coursera course of Tel Aviv University by Professor Daniel Shamovitz wonderfully displays for us. Doesn't it, Duki? Thank you for your attention.